Online. We're talking today about violent crime among our youth with Spider Jones and Les Magier. And uh, before we headed to break there, we heard from the Premier who said, ban handguns. Is that the answer? No, you know what? Every time a crime is committed with a gun, you hear the Premier or the or Mayor Miller talking about banning guns. So most of the people, hey, listen, the guys that are using guns, they don't own these guns. These guns are these guns have been smuggled across. Banning guns is not is not going to put a dent in it. I've seen it happen before. No, we need to change attitudes. We need stronger laws. We need to say what we mean and mean what we say. But we also need social programs to work with these young people, such as we have had with this young man. This is what you need to do. Banning guns is nowhere near the answer. It's the same old, same old. Yeah. Yeah, Les, you were uh, rescued, I guess, for lack of a better word, uh, from your uh, path of crime uh, from a judge who enrolled you in this PAC program. Tell us about that and how we changed your life. Well, uh, the PAC program, it's, um, it's a bigger uh, program, I guess. Uh, there's lots to do. keeps you off the streets. There's cooking schools, film projects, tree planting, magic, music, everything. To keep you busy. Yeah, and it did. So yes. it kept you out of trouble. Yes. And it changed your life. Totally. That's great, great to hear. Really good to hear. Let's go back to the phones now. Leslie, you're the next caller. Hello, Leslie. Hi. Hi. Uh, what are your thoughts on what our politicians need to be doing here to fix this problem? I think um, along with adding these armored, uh, armed police officers, sorry, in the schools, and I think we should... Um, put metal detectors in the schools, which has been brought up many times, but along with the metal detectors, putting fences around the schools, so the only access to these schools is through the front gates where the metal detectors are. I think that's the only way that we're going to keep guns and knives and any type of weapons out of the schoolyards and incidents like yesterday's shooting and the Jordan Manners incident, stuff like that won't happen anymore. Well, Leslie, I have to be honest with you. I mean, erecting a fence around the school seems to me like you're creating a jail for kids. You know what? We've had this conversation before on CFRB. Uh, that is, I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, we want such a police state that no one wants. These are isolated incidents. I know there's a lot of them, but they're still isolated. Most schools are safe. But if you look at the school yesterday, Bendale Tech, it has a history of violence. Not so much gunplay, but a lot of fights in the parking lots fights around it. It's in an area where there's a lot of gang violence. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't necessarily mean this young man in this uh, that was shot is in a gang. But one thing I want to add very quickly is the fact that uh, growing up in Detroit, uh, I go back to some of these areas, and all the schools have weapons detectors, they have armed guards in the schools. We're heading that way slowly but surely unless we deal with this instead of hearing a lot of lip service. Yeah, and we don't want to go there, do we? No, I don't want no, to go there. Want to go there. Uh, let's go next to Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Kimmy, welcome to City Online. What are your thoughts on this? Francis, I've always wanted to say this on Canadian television. Let's give you the American perspective. I lived in the state 27 years and I moved to Canada last year. Mm -hmm. And we have school massacres literally over there. The politicians here in Canada, like Biden said, too much lip service. Stop blaming the guns on the border and what's coming in from America. Make some strict laws like 10 years or bringing guns to school and things like that. And first, first things first, Biden said programs, they need programs here. The Toronto School Board needs to give the parents access here. I used to go to my children's school to mentor kids. They're 21, 17, and 8. They're here now, but they don't let parents go into school easily here. They want to do background checks, they want to do this, blah, blah, blah. Do it. Let the parents mentor the children. And last thing, Francis, mm -hmm. the whole lip services with the politicians needs to Stop. Put the metal detectors in the school, just like you put the cuffs. Do it now. It could be another one next week. Look at Columbine. Look at all the school shootings in America. Thanks for letting me talk. All right. Thank you, Kemi. Uh, let's go next to Joan. Hello, Joan. Joan, weigh in here and tell us how you feel about metal detectors. Or Hello, how are you? School. Good. Go ahead. Hello, Joan? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't think metal detectors are going to deter these punk punks that are going around with guns. Mm -hmm. My suggestion is they need a deterrent. My suggestion would be anyone caught with a gun or a knife and should be put in the army for no less than three years where if these kids don't work, they don't have jobs, they have too much time on their hands, put them in the army. Give them some discipline. 
All right, thanks, Joan. Interesting idea. You can train these safety. You can train uh, a lot of these hooligans and thugs in the army on how to really learn how to use weapons and, and, and terrorist tactics. That's that's not the answer. I mean, right. but a, a person should want to go in the army, not force in the army. It's not going to work. And as far as met, uh, metal detectors go, uh, if, if, if they have weapons detectors, these kids will not get the guns inside of school. Well, what's going to stop them? This incident yesterday happened uh, on school property, but was not inside. So right. I don't think those are the answers. All right. Uh, let's take another break right now, but we'll be right back to answer more of your calls when City Online returns. Stay with us. We could use some additional assistance from the federal government, absolutely. Uh, but our four-point approach is... Uh, is actually working, notwithstanding the terrible tragedies that occur from time to time.